Hello, this is Rob Grimes with the IFBTA, and today we have the pleasure of welcoming one of our newest global industry partners, Mako Networks, and it's and Simon Gamble, its president and co-founder. So welcome to the IFBTA. Great, thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. Well, why don't we start with a little bit of background on uh, Mako Networks? Sure. Um, Mako is a technology company uh, founded out of New Zealand in 2000, and we make networking technology with a strong focus on the distributed retail enterprise market. Um, we also focus on uh, companies that need networking for large numbers of small sites. They both really have the same requirements, um, and and that's why we are interested in uh, working with the IFBTA to reach out to its members. We think our technology is a really strong fit uh, for you. But members. you, uh, when you started in New Zealand, uh, did you originally start in any particular industry, or what was th what was the thing behind deciding? You're the co-founder, so what was the thing behind getting it started? Well, we started it in New Zealand because that's where we lived at the time. New Zealand's an interesting country. It's, uh, it's a first world country, but it's pretty small. There's only 4 million people that live there. I think there's 5 million now. But uh, there's a lot of sheep, right? There's a lot of sheep. I think last count there was 35 million sheep. So that's what I heard. People. There's a lot of cows there too. But it's got, it's got the same type of technology that countries like the US have. It's just less people use it. So it's a great place to get technology started without creating too much of a scene. Um, but if you want to scale and you want to grow, you've got to, you've got to sell your technology out of that country. And before we came to the US, we, we'd been in Australia, uh, the UK, Western Europe, parts of the Middle East and Asia. Um, but the US was a market we really, really wanted to attack. And we thought our technology added a lot of value in that market. And in 2012, we, uh, uh, we, I moved here and we set up our US office. So did you originally start with one particular customer? Is that how it got started? Or did you just come up with an idea? You came from you know, an operator and user? So me and uh, the guy, Chris Massim, that started the company, we, we both came from an ISP in New Zealand. And at the time when we started the business, uh, DSL was really becoming prevalent in that market. And New Zealand, like a lot of countries, has no cable TV infrastructure. And so DSL is the first time that your average business or home user can have an always on broadband internet connection. And so we started Mako Networks to take care of the security requirements of small businesses that all of a sudden were always connected to the internet rather than dialing up. Um, and we pretty, pretty soon realized that um, it wasn't just small businesses, it was large businesses made up of a large number of small sites that also needed this. And in fact, often had bigger struggles than a single small site organization because you're managing a lot more locations, usually with um, no uh, IT competency at those locations. And, and, we, and our technology is designed to keep those type of businesses secure. So we started looking after small businesses and selling through resellers. Um, one of our larger uh, customers or partners ended up being a, a major telco in that part of the world. And they came to us uh, early on in our relationship asking if we'd ever heard of PCI DSS, which is the payment card industry right. security standard. We hadn't heard of it. They'd spent a lot of money trying to get their private network PCI certified and they couldn't do it. And uh, so we started a project to see if our technology could be made PCI compliant and indeed it could. Um, and so we became in 2009 the first, and I believe we're still the only networking technology company that has a PCI certification against the technology itself. And it was that certification that really started our path down the distributed retail enterprise market, and ultimately with us ending up being a US headquartered company. So just a quick question, because clearly in a small market like New Zealand, you said uh, 4 million people and, and smaller people. When you first started out, you figured out that that's where you're going to be. So I'm sort of curious, who was your first customer? I think our first customer was uh, an architectural firm in, uh, in Auckland, actually. And, uh, and then we picked up a legal firm. Uh, and, then, and then we started, and then our, probably our third customer was a reasonably large um, managed network service provider who really um, taught us a bit, a bit of how to scale. Um, our next biggest customer, oddly enough, was on the other side of the world in the UK. 
and we started growing our market over there and learning what international markets need. Every country has its own idiosyncrasies with the technology that it requires. Um, from there, we spread to Australia and then and then to the Middle East. And the US is, was really our, our last major market that we were, we were targeting. As I said earlier, we started that market. We came into this market in 2012. So what got you, I mean, I get it, architectural firm out there. When did you get into retail? With PCI DSS. So once we got that PCI certification in 2009, then we really started aggressively targeting retail um, and avenues into retail. And that included the credit card schemes and acquiring banks and the like. So up until 2009, we were really focused on uh, small business sites and um, and the resellers that service those. After 2009, our strong focus became the distributed retail enterprise because of that certification. All of the name franchises and all kinds of things like that, right? And was your initial foray into uh, retail actually in the convenience store industry or petroleum? Enough, it was, yeah. Our, um, our, our ma major telco partner in New Zealand uh, sold us into some of the major fuel uh, brands there, which at the time were the same fuel brands that, that were everywhere on earth at the time. And so we got our first experience in the sea store petro business in New Zealand uh, through a major telco partner. And in 2011, uh, myself and, and Chris Massim, our co-founder, we, uh, we were at a, at a convenience store trade show in Las Vegas. And uh, one of the major uh, fuel, I saw a guy with a, a, a badge on indicating he was from one of the major fuel brands here in the US. And I cornered the man and said, hey, we look after uh, a lot of your locations, a lot being a uh, relative term, a lot of your locations in New Zealand. Would you, have you got a couple of minutes for me to talk to you about our technology? And he said, you got 30 seconds. So <laughs> I outlined what we had and he said, well, can you come to our head office next week? We're looking at uh, launching a project and your technology should be part of it. And the rest is history. We won that business and, and they became our first major uh, cornerstone US customer. And if you do a good job for one of the major players in any industry, they talk to their uh, Absolutely, their and, and a major customer in that particular market in the US probably also is in other countries as exactly. well, so. Exactly, yeah. And, and that also helps in other sectors too. So, you know, in, uh, in food and beverage, um, a lot of organizations within food and beverage are huge. And um, being able to show that we've been able to successfully deploy to similar sized organizations, albeit in a different vertical, um, delivers the credibility they may need to, uh, to give us a chance. I want to thank you uh, for joining us today. And again, this is Rob Grimes with the IFBTA, and it's been our pleasure to welcome uh, Mako Networks uh, as a global industry partner of the IFBTA and Simon Gamble. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate you taking the time, and uh, we're really looking forward to, uh, to meeting some of your members and, and being part of the team. Thank you.